when you're at the office and you hear oopy, you go, oh, you must have made a little mistake. Well, that's not the case if they're on Teradata because the oopy, that's a unique primary index. You see, every table has one primary index and there is another decision. Is it a unique primary index or is it a non-unique primary index? Oopy, noopy. In this case, when the table is created, that's when you define the primary index. And as you can see here, a unique primary index, that's going to be an OOPI. And we've picked that on employee number. So they're going to hash that employee number, and that's how they'll distribute the data. And as you can see, and this is important, every time you use a unique primary index, the data will spread perfectly evenly across those AMPs. OOPI. Perfect distribution. Teradata has been able to allow companies to process queries and large amounts of data they could never process before. Sometimes they ran massive queries on systems and the data just kind of ran for two weeks and then never came back. So Teradata was able to provide the largest type of analysis ever done before. But here is the key. They've also mastered the other extreme where if you use the primary index in the where clause of your SQL, as in our example above, it's always going to be a one second retrieve every time and only one amp will be called. So get that in your head right now. If you use the primary index column in your where clause, one second, one row, single amp retrieve. Sometimes before you run a query, you can run the explain plan. That's the parsing engine's plan. It's passing to those amps. And as you can see here, we've used the OOPI primary index in the WHERE clause. When we ran the explain, it's going to say, this is a single amp retrieve by way of a unique primary index. That's the fastest query you can run on any Teradata system.